trying to navigate life with a disability, your guide dog, your hearing dog, your service dog is your access to the world. Now to our other top story this evening, tightening the leash on fake service dogs. A new Texas law aims to crack down on that practice. Passing off your pet as a service dog will soon be a misdemeanor offense. News for San Antonio's Jordan Elder joins us with why advocates say this change could have huge impacts, especially in Military City, USA. Service dogs train for hundreds and hundreds of hours in places like this to be able to help their owners. Advocates say this new law will be especially helpful to make sure they can do that safely. She has brought my daughter back to life. Service dog Maisie has been helping Angelina Luisa's daughter for three years now. She deals with PTSD and severe anxiety. Once she got her dog, um, it was able to give her more confidence in order to go out into public. She says they've seen several instances where an animal may have a service dog vest, but doesn't have service dog behavior. Starting in September, if you try to pass a pet off as a service dog in Texas, you could be charged with a misdemeanor, face up to a $1,000 fine in 30 hours of community service. Misrepresentation causes access issues for people with disabilities all the time. Andrea Tupin trains service dogs here in San Antonio. <laughs> helping people with psychiatric, mobility, and diabetic alert needs. A service dog is an animal that has been specifically trained to do tasks for an owner with disabilities. Whereas an emotional support animal is there for comfort. She says the stronger penalty will be helpful for the San Antonio community because many of our veterans use service animals. Your service dog is your access to the world. Sherry Soltis with Service Dogs Incorporated has been a longtime advocate for this. When that dog is injured or traumatized, you lose your you lose your equal uh, access to public spaces, which is the point of the statute. She says true service dogs are highly trained, and this new law will give them space to do their jobs and give their owners some peace of mind. But the next thing we want to do is really educate the legal community, the law enforcement community, and the business community, so we can make sure they understand what their role is in this. Jordan Elder, News 4 San Antonio.